We're going to look at how to use the Loops tab to create, modify, and edit sampler loops. So we're going to look at embedding loops within sound bites here that are effective only when you're playing them back through a sampler. They're not really effective anywhere other than in this waveform editor within Digital Performer, but this is where we set them up for use to be exported to samplers. So we're in loop mode here. Now I have a little drum loop. Let me play it for you. So let's say I want to loop certain sections of this audio file. Let's make a selection. Let's listen to this. Okay, let's say I want to loop that. So I have that selection and I can right click or go under the loops menu here and I can choose new loop from selection. And there's the shortcut command option N, just like we saw for new sound bites when we were in sound bite mode. And a lot of the functionality is the same here, but we're dealing with loops rather than just creating sound bites. These are loop points that will be embedded within the audio file. So let's create another one. Maybe I'll try something towards the end. Let's listen to this. Okay, let's use that. So this time I'll use the shortcut command option N and there's our second loop, and we can move between them like we could with the sound bites menu with command option and the left, right bracket keys. Now to make a loop active, again, like we saw before, we can either select from here between them, or we can click with the little finger tool in the upper corner like that. Here we get the finger tool left or right corner. Now we can option click to rename them. Let's call this one loop bit 2 and let's select the previous one and I'll just click in the upper corner here with the finger tool and option click and call that one loop bit 1. Now I can trim the edges like we saw in the sound bites window just by grabbing like that and it'll snap to the beats and I can override it with command but I'm going to leave it like that because I want this to be a kind of rhythmic loop where they snap together like that and same thing for this one it's sort of tied to the transients, so it should work nicely. And similarly, again, to the sound bites menu, we can select the actual contents within the loop by double-clicking like that, or we can go under the menu and go Set Selection to Active Loop over here, which is the same thing. So let's set the actual loop behavior that we want. I'm going to go under the Loops menu here and go Set Loop Audition Options. And here we set the number of times we want it to loop. So with this last bit selected, I'll leave it at three for now. And now when we're playing this back, we should hear the embedded loop here repeat three times. And then when it's exported to a sampler, that's the way it'll function because this information will be embedded in the sound file. So if I select a little bit before here by shift clicking, I can now audition it with the loops within there. And I can use the command here, audition selection with active loop. I think this is a rare instance where I'm going to need to not have it snap to a transient, so I'm going to adjust this using the command key. Let's get it in the middle there and let's try that. It's a little better. So let's select all, and I'm using control spacebar to audition the whole thing, and we should hear the whole loop with this loop playing back three times embedded at the end. Now we can also use sound bites as the basis of a loop, so we can create loops based on the sound bites. Let me open up my sidebar, and I'm just going to switch back to that guitar pattern that we were using in the last video. And let's say we'll go to one of these, like let's say, I'll just close this up for a moment. Here's pattern A. Let's double click on that. Let me zoom a little bit and go to sound bite mode. And what we can do is establish the selection like that, then switch to loop mode. And then now that we have the selection established, we can use the new loop from selection. So that's how you can use the sound bite as the basis. Let's go back to the sidebar for a moment and go back to this little drum loop that we were working with. And let's look at some sound file information here. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see loop information here at the bottom. So we'll see our two little loops that we created. There's loop bit one and there's loop bit two with the different information pertaining to each loop bit. And the important thing here is we can Decide on the loop type. So loop forward, there's the forward icon, but we can also loop backwards. You'll see the icon change here. And we can loop forward, then backward for multiple iterations of the loop. When we're doing three times, it'll go forward, backward, then forward. Loop in release, loop forward, then in release. So lots of different options. But again, these are only relevant when they're being exported 
We click transfer in sound bites, and then when it's exported to a sampler, it'll be embedded. Now, I finally want to end off this video with a couple of little shortcuts for working in loop mode like this. We can use the tab key to move the insertion point to the next. Now, this works in both soundbite and loop mode to move the insertion point to the next soundbite or loop boundary. So let's say I click there. If I hit tab, it moves it to there, which is the next boundary. If I put it back here, it'll move to there. Now it moves it to there, and then there, and then there. So it keeps going to the next one, and option tab will keep moving to the previous boundary. A couple more interesting little techniques. Let's say I have a selection established. I can use shift tab to extend the selection to the next boundary. So shift tab just extends it. And let's say with that same selection, if I use shift control tab, what it'll do is it'll move the selection and it'll go from the end point here until here, until the next boundary. So control shift tab. And there we started from the end of that selection and selected till the next boundary. And similarly in reverse with that same selection, if I go option shift tab, it'll move or extend the selection to the previous boundary. So option shift tab and similarly shift option control tab would go from the start of the selection to the previous boundary. So that's it for the loops and sound bites mode. Next video, the holy grail, the beats mode, where we edit the beats and get into DP's whole beat detection engine.